Yo, what's going on out there, Tea Timers? This is Army of Tea coming back to you with another video. I'm going to show you how to increase your speeds on your PS4, your Xbox, and this even works on the PS3. So right now, I have internet speeds of 150 download and anywhere from 10 to 15 upload. Right now, I just set my PlayStation back to default settings for the internet. Uh, I'm going to run my internet speed test. I'm going to show you what my internet uh, providers giving me through their DNS servers uh, compared to what I am getting now through Namebench servers. I ran Namebench. They gave me a couple primary and secondary DNS. I put it in my PlayStation 4 and my speeds just increased. So right now I'm getting a 15.4 with a 2.1 download. So what I'm going to do is you're going to want to go to set up internet connection. You're going to use LAN cable. You always want to be hardline to your PlayStation, to your router. Uh, you never want to play on Wi-Fi just to let you know that. So I'm going to use my LAN cable. You're going to want to go to custom. You're going to want to go manual. So what you're going to do is you're going to change your IP address, your primary DNS, and your secondary DNS servers. Leave your subnet mask the same, your default gateway the same. I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to put everything in that I got from namebench.com, and we'll run another speed test, and you'll see how my speeds just jumped. So give me one second. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Now, what I did was I changed my IP address... Uh, the last three, I, you know, I, you wanted to be a higher number. So that's what I did. But my primary DNS, this is what I got here and secondary DNS. Name bench gave me these numbers. I put it in and let me show you how my speeds are now. One second. Let's go next. MTU settings, you're going to just go ahead and do automatic. Some people have issues. You could put it at 1475, which is a really good number. I'm just going to leave mine alone for now. And then I'm going to go proxy server, do not use. Let's run my internet and let's see what kind of speeds I'm getting now compared to the 15s that I was getting earlier. Now I'm hitting 56.7 with a 4.6 download and upload speed. Wow. Uh, let's run it again just to see that's where we are. And so here we go. Right after this, I'm going to go to my computer. I'm going to go to namebench.com. I'm going to show you how to run that program, uh, where to look, and I'm going to show you how much faster these DNS servers are compared to the ones I was getting prior. So I'm going to pause this video one more time. As you can see, I'm getting 55.5 and a 5.7. I have my PS3 sitting next to me. If I run them both at the same time, I'm going to get the same speeds almost as the PS4. Now, mind you, on my PS3, I only was able to max out at 20, always. And ever since I changed my IP address and my DNS servers into my PS3, I'm hitting 45 to 50 downloads. I've never seen that on a PS3. So I'm going to pause this. I'll be right back with Namebench. All right, I'm back. I'm to my computer here. I'm going to go to Namebench. You're going to see a lot of tabs. You just go to Namebench, downloads or whatever. So you're going to see this screen here. It's going to show you basically, you know, DNS servers that are faster than yours. I'm going to go back. I already downloaded Namebench. You just go to the link I'm going to put down here, and you'll see how it is. So let me pull up Namebench. I have it in my documents here. I've already downloaded it. So what you're going to do is this screen is going to pop up. You're going to want to extract it. So I'm going to extract it right now. It's going to come up. This is what you're going to see when you run Namebench. You're going to have this screen here. So what you're going to want to do is you already see my uh, DNS server up here. This is my default gateway. It's going to show DNSs that you run through Google's public DNS. This is what I usually use. Don't mess with anything here. All you're going to want to do is just start Namebench. So just click on that. It's going to run through. It's going to take anywhere from about 15 to 20 minutes, if that, if you have good speeds. So I'm going to pause this. I'm going to run this just to show you how much faster those DNS servers that I put in my PlayStation are compared to what I have now. So one second. Okay, I'm back. Now, I ran that, you know, the services on here. This says these IP, well, these DNS servers are faster than mine. It's 142% faster. Now, if you look, my services is down here. And all these other DNS servers in my area are a lot quicker. So I, I'm putting these numbers into my PS4 just to run a speed test. And, you know, this is how you, you increase your speeds on your PS4 and your Xbox and your PS3. So hopefully you guys do this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to my channel. Share it, you know, for all these gamers out there that have really bad internet connection. Hopefully this will help them out and make just, you know, the services a lot better for everybody. Um, I'm going to go run a speed test on my PS4 and my PS3 at the same time.